This is Ajay Jagtap from UiPath and in this video we are going to talk about how UiPath Test Suite does the automated test execution of the SAP EWM outbound process using the shipping cockpit functionality. Now as, ma as many of you know, uh, the shipping cockpit in S4 HANA supports the shipping clerks in, daily, in their daily activities such as building transportation units, assigning doors, managing the arrival, loading and departure of trucks, uh, printing waybills and posting goods issue. So essentially it can be used to manage both inbound and outbound activities. But in this video, we'll focus on the outbound process only. Now in this example, what we have done is we have already created sales orders uh, with the subsequent delivery documents in advance. Using that information, we will first test the shipping cockpit planning app, which will create the necessary transportation unit and assign deliveries to them. And then we will move on to test the shipping cockpit execution app that drives the execution to try to complete picking and loading process. So we will start by going to the UiPath test manager and execute the test automation script that is published to the UiPath orchestrator. Now in this example, we have configured the robot to run on the same desktop for the unattended execution. So here we will be going to the test set and start the execution. So the test automation script will start by opening the SAP Fury environment and logging into the system. Uh, it will then open up the shipping cockpit planning app and search for the delivery using the ship to party. There you go. It will then search through the grid table and select the correct delivery created during the delivery creation process. Now once picked, it will create a transportation unit and assign delivery to it. And in the TU or the transportation unit, it will assign the means of transport and the packaging material. So on the right hand side, we will see that the TU has been created and the delivery has been assigned to it. One, we, what we will do is we will verify the TU creation and scrape the TU number for the downstream execution process. We will now move to the shipping cockpit execution app and search with the TU number that we captured from the planning process. Once found, we will expand the TU to re-verify the delivery attached to it. And in this transaction, each column here represents a process step towards the completion of the goods issue. So here we will recreate wave by letting the system determine the wave automatically. Once done, we will move on to assign a door to the TU for the arrival at the checkpoint. And then it will go through the multiple stages of loading, posting goods issue, and, and finally the departure. Now for this test, we will verify whether the departure icon is green or not. So essentially what we have done is we have inserted an assertion for the status of the departure icon. Inactive status means the test will be failed. We will log out from the system in the, uh, from the Fury instance and then go to the SAP WinGUI environment for retrieving the SAP return message for the outbound delivery order. Here we will capture the message and conclude our test. So to check the results, uh, we will visit the UiPath test manager again. So here you can see the latest result, uh, it has failed. And if we go and drill down, we can check the, the departure status has returned to be inactive or not active. If we further drill down to check the logs, we can gather all the information like the TU number and the SAP error message. And uh, if you want to check the digital footprint, we can check the details as well. So that concludes our SAP EWM outbound process testing demo. Thanks for joining. Hope you have a wonderful day.